So here's John's new flame wheel style 450 size quad and what we're going to do today is add the battery alarm wire. We're going to run a wire from the KK2 board battery alarm circuit to the battery on the quadcopter so we can test and see if the battery is getting too low. Now where this solders there's only one hole in the whole circuit board that's open and that's right here. Actually it's going to be the red wire. So the red wire from the battery goes on that hole and then the other one solders to a ground pad on the bottom. Now you can see on the bottom of the quad here where we already have a JST battery type in soldered onto the voltage wires that go to the ESC the ESC module. And of course uh, we're just going to solder this one to the KK2 board and then it'll just plug on there so we can measure the battery voltage. Now the ESC it's actually four ESCs and they're inside this Q brain here. Okay so we soldered the two wires for the JSD connector on the bottom of the KK2 board and one goes on the LAN, the only hole in the board right there actually goes in that hole and the other one we soldered on the ground bus for the connect for the servo connectors that uh, was already there rather than using the little ground LAN that they had there. We were afraid that might get torn off. So that's it. Pretty much done. We got this we got this end on the board right there. And then we got the other end over here that we're going to plug it onto. So we just need to remount the board, plug it on, and then we'll do the menu settings. So John is going to remount the board with some of this uh 3M. Uh you can see it right here is 3M double stick tape that we got at the hardware store. That holds the board down pretty good and it gives it a little absorption. It takes two layers to get it up high enough though. Peeling now. Okay, now mounting. Now, let's see if I can get this straighter this time. It was a little crooked before, so we're taking this opportunity to make sure it's good and straight this time. All right, hooking up the power. Now, before we... Oh, we don't have the receive the transmitter on. Probably doesn't matter. We can still uh, program it. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get in a little closer. Hey, that looks good. All right, setting the battery voltage. I think it's under miscellaneous. Should be under miscellaneous. Okay, and there it is, alarm, one-tenth of a volt per increment. So let me think here, we got 14.8, so we need to go... 148. One, yeah. So that's our cutoff, 148 or 14.8. Oh. We have a 16.8 fully charged battery for a 4-cell, but we don't want to go below 14.8. So that should do it. Okay, now we're going to test the battery alarm. Where should we mount the alarm at, though? I haven't decided on that, where we're going to round. But there it is. It's a little piezo speaker. A little something or other. A little squeaker speaker. So what we're going to do is run the battery voltage alarm, the alarm voltage, above the battery voltage to see if it goes off. Going to miscellaneous. Alarm voltage. Now we're going to run it up above 16.8. That's probably high enough. Now you got to get out of the memory and the, out of the menu. And there, it works. Make it 180. Let's see what that does. All right. Now out. There it is. Okay. Pretty good. Sounded a little different. Now we'll go back to 148, which is the safe voltage. And there we go. So we know it works. Now we can take it out and fly it again. We know we're going to be safe, but we'll just have to mount the beeper somewhere. Yep. Yeah.
Okay, trying to make the battery voltage go off. The battery voltage alarm. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Got a bunch of whoa, whoa's out of that one. Come back here. It's way out there. I still, I still got a bead on it. It's getting really squirrely like the battery's low, you know. Alright. Oh, that was freaky. Four high as well. Instead of putting it at 14.8, I put it at 15.2. I just don't think it's going to go off for a while. Come on. It takes more throttle than it did before, I think. Well, maybe. Where the battery's going down a little bit. Well, actually, no, it's about the same. Huh. Are we going to take off? Okay. Checking for that battery voltage alarm. Set at 15.2. And we got 15.4 right now when it's idle. Well, I'm looking for it to go off any time. If I can keep it close, that'd be good. Yeah, so we can hear it. Kind of hard. It's going off right now. It's going it. off. I hear it. It's just barely. Flop. Fly it some more. See if we can get a rapid beep out of it. That was. Just, that's just kind of a slow. It, it should go beep 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 when it gets a little bit lower. Maybe it won't because it's so low. No, I don't think so. It's not very low. There, now it's going off more often. Hear it? The beeps are increasing. Well, actually, shorter, dura shorter duration. They're pulsing faster. It's getting faster. The faster it gets, the closer it is to the alarm voltage. And when it gets right to the alarm voltage, it should go beep, 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 beep. Just keep it going, because you're okay. Yeah. I can hear it very when it hits the throttle a little bit. I guess you can bring it in now. Doppler. Getting too close. And there it is. It. And of course, the battery alarm stopped when it landed. Yeah. Because it's really close. Look at that. What you got? 15.3. 15.3. It's hard to get a focus on it. Yeah. Okay. But it worked. It was probably lower than that when it was flying, and that's why it went off because it set at 15.2. Let's see something.